U.S. charged Duterte's spiritual counselor with sex trafficking. On Thursday, U.S. authorities unveiled sex trafficking accusations against the head of a Philippines-based church and buddy of President Rodrigo Duterte. In a 74-page indictment, founder Apollo Carrion Quibaloy and other church executives, including two U.S.-based church managers, accused a sexual predator of leading a smuggling enterprise that had threatened with the threat of eternal damnation and physical assault directed at children under the age of 12. Prosecutors in Los Angeles said the latest indictment added to last year's accusations against three church leaders. Nine defendants are accused of being involved in a plan to bring church members to the U.S. on false visas to seek funds for a phony children's organization. Prosecutors said the money went to support church officials' lavish lives. The new indictment adds Quibaloy and five additional defendants to a 2020 indictment. Three of the new defendants were reportedly apprehended by U.S. authorities on Thursday, but the whereabouts of the other three, including Quibaloy, remain unknown. The other additional defendants' lawyers could not be reached for comment, nor could the Philippine Embassy. The Philippines Justice Ministry said it has not heard from the U.S. on the issue. Duterte spokesperson Carlo Nograles refused to comment on Quibaloy. Pastoralists are defined in the indictment as females between the ages of 12 and 25 who were hired as personal assistants. As part of the night duty, they were tasked with preparing the Quibaloy's meals, cleaning their homes, and engaging in sexual intercourse with them. One of Duterte's most trusted confidants and spiritual advisors is Quiboloy, a self-described master of the cosmos, and ordained son of God. Millions of Filipinos follow the preacher, and church leaders influence Philippine elections. It was reported in September that Filipino boxer and potential presidential contender Manny Pacquiao had filed a defamation suit against Quiboloy after the latter accused numerous world champions of embezzling money for a sports facility. Accused. He has already spoken about his lengthy connection with Quiboloy and been interviewed by the preacher on his TV appearances as president. The constitution prevents Duterte from standing for re-election.